we have a hidden feature, something you cannot see with your eye until you're right on it inside the pool. Hey, what's up? I'm Justin Fox. I'm Nate Fox. We're brothers, landscape designers. And we love designing stuff like this. Check it out. This is a beautiful design, but it definitely didn't start this way. Not at all. The only thing done with it was sprinkles and grass. So having this blank canvas slate with nothing done, the client comes to us and says, okay, show me something that's crazy, no budget limits. And now I can't even recognize the place. You can't. The idea of this is to really create some really custom features. We have a swing that's hanging over the water. We have a hidden featured color changing lights and jets and a water wall. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Our permits got delayed by three months. We have a deal and we have to hit this tomorrow. You guys are scrambling to get everything ready. Um, they just left, but I'm hoping and praying that this is ready. You know, <laughs> it's like if I don't get this done okay. tomorrow, I literally don't get a paycheck, so. So this is so exciting for me to be able to share with you guys because I've been showing you this along the way. Finally, this million dollar pool is coming to life. No stop spared. Every single detail, I'm gonna show you. Here it is, guys. Check this out. It is official and it is complete and we're gonna walk through it today. So even as I'm walking through, I gotta fully embrace with bare feet, wet pants. I've already tested it out to make sure it's all done and it is. So let's walk through. We're gonna start here actually, which I'm gonna talk about here. Sometimes people don't think about adding a little pattern to grass. And when you do it, it brings out a luxury nature that you don't even think is possible. And one of the really cool features I love this are these laminars. The water just comes out so glass-like and see how it just pours right out of the grass itself. These things are insane and nice. Then we decided to upgrade the typical pebbles to actual glass. Look at that, there's actual fire glass. Find it wanted to spare no expense on this. And on top of this, this infinity feature here that pours over is all deck top material. These are solid slabs. See how there's no grout lines or anything? It's all solid slabs. Truly an expensive feature, but man, what a difference. Now, one of the things we wanted to do when we designed this was to really create this transition from a more traditional style home to a more modern style that the client wanted. So we started with this whole, and that's why we have this railing here. What's unique and hidden is that each rail or pole, I should say, has a light. Check these out at night, they're insane. But it creates this start, kind of starting transition going out to a more modern contemporary art. One of my favorite features, uh, man, it's so hard to say that because I have so many, but is this thing. Look at this thing. With the water pouring off, this is, these are actually polymer material and there's no grout lines in this too. This is solid all the way across with the fire on top. What a difference it makes. The Baja shelf is huge, look at this. Four seats with bubblers. You can even add another one here and probably there if you really want to have the party going. But these bubblers, by the way, at night, they all change colors, all wrapped in marble stone, raised, and the grout lines match, which is a big deal. Sometimes people will just kind of put the top layer and then they'll maybe put another one here. We like to really call out details to show, make it almost feel like blocks of marble were placed on the pool to make the wall. One of the things too the client had in the beginning, this is all just a block wall, adding green, hedges, and these are ficus and titia, which grow in certain warmer climates, are such a good opportunity to hide the boring wall that's behind it. And what's so cool about these, these will grow up, they can be even taller than this, by the way. This infinity style spa, all wrapped in literally a deck tom material. It makes a huge difference because it feels like this whole thing was carved out of stone. Now this is also deck tom, and you can see that the deck tom gives you such a variety of finishes. This is a polish. You kind of see here, this is more of a matte finish, right? So you get a, a lot of variety when you get to play with these kind of more porcelain style features. One of the crazy things that we were able to design and call out and get permission to build here is the pat solid roof patio covers that are very modern in shape. Instead of typical roof, typical roof, non-typical. This is really creates that whole modern aesthetic the client wanted. And then let me show you this underneath. See this channel right here? Right here is the whole LED light strip. And that illuminates that whole face here. We love playing with lights and it's so important. Even these light bars here. Now one of the reasons why we use the frosted light bar on this one was the fact that you don't want to see those individual diodes. So just a little tip if you're adding lights you're gonna see try to get a frosted or if these are called neon strips they're LED bars but they're covered and so that the LED individual diodes you don't see them I love to the contrast of the marble and the wood and we use the same wood here as we did on the top but what a difference it makes right to bring that kind of warm kind of that feeling of more natural elements rather than it being so harsh and cold this barbecue in fact let's see if the owners use it yet 
Oh my word, he still hasn't used it yet. It's been like a month since we finished this job. But anyway, this is beautiful and it just looks so good with the, all the stainless steel elements along with the granite. One last detail on this kitchen since we're talking about it. I would always recommend if you have the opportunity to wrap it because if you're, at least if you're going for modern, this makes a difference. Okay, so this is one of my favorite features, by the way. I'm just gonna stand on it because I stand in it as much as I can. This is a 12, I was gonna try to show you 12 with my hands while I'm holding the phone. This is a 12 foot water wall. Can you, I can't give you a perspective on this by my holding it myself. This is 12 feet. This is so big that it literally is as tall as the patio covers themselves. What I love about it too, and you can't see in this video, the whole thing lights up behind me. And this would be a great time to transition. Every groove here is a little bit thinner of a polymer that allows the light to come through. And behind this, I think it's 22 LED light strips. So there's 22 LED lights that allow that whole thing to be illuminated and it's truly insane. So here it is in all its glory. I mean, it is just truly a magical, magical piece. We actually called out to have this glass installed. And let me show you on the other side. And the reason we did that, so you can see it here as a glass. The reason we did it is behind this is a streak. And so what this does is it allows all the sound to be blocked from that street behind. And that's kind of the intention of why this is such a big dramatic wall piece to block that road up there and block that noise coming through and not wanting everything to be blocked off. So that's why we decided to add the glass there. These hidden stools are such a cool feature, right? So you have the swim up bar, then you have these glass acrylic stools. And it's what's so crazy is that you can't see them. Check this out, okay? I'm gonna get further back. When you get to a certain distance, they literally disappear. Like I, like with my naked eye, barely see them, if not see them at all. And so it's a really special feature and almost like a little surprise for people who don't know what to expect. It allows them to really see it for the first time and like, whoa, no way. And then LED lights underneath allow those stools to be illuminated at night and look really cool. Check out the floating fire feature. Tell me that isn't cool. I'll tell you another secret. Underneath is a whole LED light strip that illuminates it at night. You have to see this video at night. Trust me, it's gonna be worth the wait because all these things are gonna change change the whole feeling by having lights on. This whole fire pit is covered in the same material that we use for the bar, but what's really cool about it, see this gap here? There's an LED light strip underneath it as well. I'm gonna get you back to this. This is such a cool feature, but here we go. TV, we got, even this is all the sound equipment. What's really neat about this is that the whole cabinet itself is covered with the deck tile material. Subwoofers, can you believe that there's subwoofers in a backyard that are this big? Isn't that insane? Along with speakers, I mean, this, this, again, with no expense spared. And even thinking about the littlest details like lighting in the grass, right? So having this whole column lit up at night makes such a huge difference. So this is a little junky uh, as far as like we still have stuff on the ground. But I'm going to show you this feature because it truly is a little hidden gem. And when you get to add outdoor showers, it makes such a difference. Check this out. Outdoor shower. You get a whole cool vibe in the back here and what's really unique where's the drain oh wait wait for it wait for it that little area right there guys is the drain and it allows it to feel so seamless and modern and you get so many different things i think when you turn this on let me see whoa oops <laughs> how do you turn i was going to try to show you the light anyways it has led lights inside it whole different features okay wait wait the climax here is the swing and what's so cool about the swing is not only that it, the swing is hanging over water but also what's in front of you, right? What's in front of you is this beautiful rain curtain that allows it to just be full, a whole experience here. It's not just something that's just simple. Each step is a floating step that allows you to walk across, guides you through the, the swing here, and then this is it. It's so exciting being able to be a designer, being able to play with these things. Ah! Okay, so now we're gonna move to the, the day bed. And this day bed is really unique because it's tucked in with a fire on top of you. Gives you a nice amount of heat, but also is something that it just really is more of a visual aspect that's just really custom. And then kind of end with this, we put a seat bench, designed it so you can swim up after swimming back laps and rest and relax, put your back on that. So there it is. There's the tour of one of the most insane backyards that's been done lately. And I can't wait to show you more. Check this video out at night. It's gonna be, it's gonna be insane. Hit that like button, subscribe. See you on the next one.